Say hello. Hello. Say hi. Hi. Porter, say hi. Porter. We've got one kid dressed and one kid still in jammies. Coke. I want milk. Okay, one second. Hello, you guys. It has been such a long time since I have picked up the camera. I'm sure you've noticed a while ago I had a, like, lag in my uploading. I'm trying to get back on that. Um, and you're probably like, where are they? I don't recognize this place. Yeah, so we've been in, honestly, a whirlwind um, ever since we won our house and went into contract on our new house. Um, so I'll basically just try to catch you up. Um, we got a house. We won it finally. As you guys saw it, I talked about it. Then we went into a crazy like two week period where we got back from vacation and like hurry and tried to fix up our house as much as we could finish up any projects, clean, all etc. So um, we did all that. We closed on our house on July 1st and paid all the money now we're poor um and we immediately went on another vacation with anthony's family to georgia which i uh, vlogged a little bit um and then we were hoping that while we were gone in georgia that our house would be in contract and unfortunately that has not been the case um it our house has been on the market for now 11 days and still no one has put in a single offer on our house it's really devastating. We're freaking out about it. We have two houses right now. We're gonna start have to start paying like two mortgages. Sorry, there's like something on my camera. We're gonna have to start paying two mortgages and we're freaking out about it. So it's July 18th. We put our house on the market on July 7th. Um, we've gone through two weekends now of lots of showings. We had an open house yesterday, but still like a little bit of interest, but like no one has even put in an offer yet. So we're freaking out. This was totally blindsiding us. We didn't think our house would take this long to sell. Of course, like the day after we put our house on the market, like the interest rates came up by a ton and so not as many people are out buying houses it was just like the worst time to put the house up on the market so we missed our chance we're really bummed about it as to where i am we are spending our time at my parents house who live just five minutes down the street which is nice they've let us stay with them because we're trying to keep our house like as clean as possible and that's pretty impossible when you have kids so we've been staying here, we've been sleeping here, um, spending our days here, and uh, Anthony goes over to the house and works during the day, and we've been doing like little projects and stuff here and there, turning the lights on, mopping the floors, things like that at night. But other than that, we're just chilling here at my parents' house. So it's not the situation we wanted to be in. We thought for sure by now we would be back in our current house and packing and getting ready to move. Um, we kind of joke, we have two houses right now and we can't live in either one of them. We don't get possession of our new house until the end of this month. Um, so it's like less than two weeks, two weeks from yesterday. And we can't live in our current house because we're trying to keep it clean for showings. So unfortunately, this is like the worst news ever. Um, we're just trying to stay positive. We're putting our trust in our realtor to know what she's doing. We've de like I've said, we've definitely had like people interested in our house. Um, Porter wants Teddy Graham crackers, um, but um, nobody has gone and like took the trigger and like given us a offer yet. Um, we've heard differing views on whether our house is priced too high or priced just right, so it's hard to know. But we're just trusting our realtor. So unfortunately, we might just be here until we can move into our new house. I'm really not sure. Um, Anthony's at work right now. It's Monday. Um, it's raining. It's been raining for like days. And so the kids and I have just been cooped up in my parents' house. Um, so it's just been like really hard. The kids have been taking the change really well, thankfully. Porter sleeps in our room with us and then Grace sleeps in like on a little blow up mattress in a room downstairs. So we're making it work, but it's really sad just like how things have turned out. Um, there's other houses in our neighborhood that have come and gone and have gone into contract and just our house isn't doing it, which again, we're just totally shocked about, so. We're hoping somebody comes along soon. We might have to drop the price. We're just not sure. But uh, this is the uh, 
not fun part about selling a house is when it doesn't go the way you want it to. So we're trying to stay positive, but yeah, it's just the season of life is just very, very hard. Like ever since January and starting the house, like really starting the house process and, and now it's continuing all the way until like now, which is July. Like it's just been a really hard year really really hard just feels like we just have bad luck after bad luck after bad luck so all right we just want this whole thing to be done so anyway if you guys could send us good thoughts hopefully somebody will come along i'll keep you guys updated as soon as i hear anything but yeah i mean maybe people are just taking their time we did have an open house we had several people come through our open house yesterday so maybe they're just thinking about it and maybe they'll put in an offer today I don't know we're just stressing about it so not not great but I'll vlog here and there um today I don't know what we're gonna do um tomorrow we're gonna take the kids to the zoo because we haven't gone at all this summer which is just shows you how busy we've been um and then um I think we're gonna do Chuck E. Cheese later in the week but today we're just kind of chilling trying to stay out of the rain what are you doing I just want you want milk? Okay. This is kind of how our life is. We're just living out of suitcases. Felix is somewhere here with us. I think he's hiding under the bed. The boys are living out of suitcases. We've got Felix's food and his litter box in here. I mean, it's just a hot mess. A hot mess. But we're doing what we can. Huh? Do you like staying at Graham's house? Yes. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Hey guys, so it's been a couple hours since I made that first clip of today and you might be looking in the background and saying, hey, wait a minute, I recognize where she is. Yes, I am at our current house, I guess is what I like to call it. Not our new house, we still haven't gotten into it, obviously, like I said earlier. I'm at my current house, I'm actually here cleaning because we actually got two showings today. One of the showings that is tonight is a second showing. So the people came through once, really liked it, said they're very interested and they're coming again tonight um, to see it again. So I'm trying to dust and put fresh like vacuum lines in, even though we haven't been living here, just to make it look like we recently cleaned it. I'm sweeping, I'm mopping. Um, Anthony left one of the toilet seats up, so I put that down. So just trying to clean up really fast before the showings. One's at, um, I think, 4.30 and one's at 6. So super exciting. I really hope um, that this means something good is about to happen. Your good vibes and good thoughts from that last clip must have come and helped me because this has this whole day has just turned around i was so sad like last night we were feeling so hopeless about the whole situation and now we have renewed hope now could this possibly turn into nothing yes but at least this is the most hope that we've had like this whole experience of putting our house up for sale so we're very excited and then these this other showing is completely new people and maybe they come through and they like it we could get a bidding war that would be super exciting so I have a good feeling, but I don't know that I ever took you guys around to just see like a uh, staged like empty house tour. It's not empty, but like it's empty of us, if that makes sense. So I'll just show you guys around real quick. Now, if I already did this, sorry, but like this is just how it looks. So like our living room looks basically the same. We did go through and we like basically took out most of the stuff out of our entertainment center. We're actually just going to pitch this. Um, we've had it since college. And so Anthony actually used to use this as a bookshelf. Um, but we turned on its side to make an entertainment center. But this is all basically the same. Um, the biggest difference I'd say is the kitchen, beca just because we took off all of our appliances. So like this used to be like our Keurig machine and our knives and our Alexa and our digital um, picture frame. Um, this used to have like our toaster and our microwave and uh, my purse and all my stuff. Like we obviously just like cleared all the counters. The dining room, um, we basically cleared it out. We used to have like a little like mini bookshelf here to hold like our vases and stuff. We got rid of that. So it's really just the table. My parents added like this little decorative piece. This is a pretty big change too. This used to be the playroom. So if you remember, we used to have like a huge rug down here. We kept the toy box because it kind of just matches like the gray chairs. But we took out the rugs, took out all the toys, just make this look like a sitting room, front room, whatever. Um, 
because it just makes the room look bigger. So that's pretty different. We've got like some booty covers here for when people to come through and um, put on their feet. I'm taking you guys upstairs just to show you. There's not really too much of a difference up here, but I'll show you. So this is our guest room slash Anthony's office. There used to be a dresser here and a dresser here. We pitched those and it just makes the room look much bigger. So it's just this bed and then Anthony's desk. We also packed away a ton of the books and just kind of staged it with some kids books. Even though the kids aren't here, we're not really like reading them just to make it look staged I guess I don't know <laughs> this is Gray's room obviously Grayson so we didn't do too much just like took everything off the um dresser top we moved his bed his bed used to be like parallel with the wall so that the wall acted kind of like as a barrier so we couldn't fall off but for staging purposes to make it look like an actual room we uh uh moved it parallel to the wall um, and then moved his dress or his uh, little nightstand over to the side and then we just staged his um his bookshelf just to look nice I don't know Porter's room basically looks the same we moved his crib used to be like center on this wall we moved it just to the side um but that's basically it like everything is basically the same in his room his room is just so small so it's just kind of hard we're trying to make it look as big as possible but kind of hard and then our bedroom, we just like took everything off the counters, um, but we didn't really move anything around. My parents like added this decorative piece, took everything off the vanity counter. Um, here is the bathroom. I don't know if I ever showed you guys like the final product. We basically worked on this bathroom like until the last day. Um, so Anthony finally finished the floor. Doesn't it look so good? Um, he did a really great job with it and yeah, I just kind of replaced our towels with some white towels to make it look like brighter and lighter and whiter. <laughs> and then our closet, I just packed away a ton of the clothes so it just looks a little less cluttered but still looks like a closet. So um, just left like two shoes off the floor but there, there used to be like tons of stuff all over the floor and I just like packed most of it. So that's basically it. Um, I'll show you downstairs too in the basement because Anthony and his dad, that's like what they worked on one weekend um, and it looks really good but yeah so I'm just vacuuming and doing some cleaning before we have these showings I'm really really hoping we get a good offer tonight or tomorrow morning or something if they take a while um, so we can just be done with this whole process um, I'm going into the basement now so I'll show you guys so this main room we kind of just staged it it used to just have like a lot of junk <laughs> everywhere and we just kind of packed it or put it away or put it in a different room to make this look like a you know hangout sitting room I've always liked this room because it has really cool um, ceilings it's got like these white ceilings the previous people um, did these we did not do that but yeah just staged it here and then in here, this is the room that Anthony and his dad did. So they added these bright lights. There used to only be like one dim light for this room and that was it. And they brightened it up so much. And then these walls weren't here. Um, so they put up the walls and, and Anthony painted them like literally the last day. And then he and his dad also built these shelves um, just to make it look nice. And uh, yeah, so just have everything in here just kind of all organized and trying to make the room look as big as possible. So anyway, sorry if this seems like I'm kind of out of breath, scatterbrained, crazy. Um, just trying to get everything done in a timely manner. Um, the boys are taking naps right now while Porter's taking a nap. Grayson is having quiet time. My mom's watching them for me while I'm here. Um, cleaning and Anthony went to do a store visit he works for Bath and Body Works I don't know if I ever told you guys but he works for Bath and Body Works and um, sometimes they go and do store visits so basically he like goes to a Bath and Body Works store or they go to one of their competitor stores Lush, Anthropology, things like that and they just see like what's selling in stores um, what's not like are they having any problems with any of like the Bath and Body Works merchandise that they should know about so he was going to do that and meet up with his co-workers. So he's out of the house. So it's just me. Um, I already did the outside. We have this huge pine tree, which I've talked about on several vlogs. We had huge storms yesterday. I mean, it rained for like 
two full days or something. It was crazy. So we had so many pine cones. I had to pick all those up. I was um, sweeping our driveway. Um, usually when me and the boys are here, every day we'll go out and play in the front yard and we will um, pick, like, pick all the weeds. I hadn't done that because we haven't been here. So I was weeding and uh, just trying to make everything look nice. Um, our drain was like clogged on the side yard, so I unclogged that. So just doing little things here and there. I really hope these people like these, this house. I'm really sick of it. Um, I'd really like to be back in here and finish packing. While we did do a lot of packing and a lot of stuff is in boxes, there's still a ton more to do. Um, I mean, we need to pack like this whole house and take it to a new house. We've never done that before. We've packed a whole apartment and moved here, but we've never gone house to house before. So that'll be something new. Um, but yeah, it's just, I can't emphasize enough the change of emotions that we've had because last night, like Anthony and I couldn't even go to sleep last night because we were so distraught over the fact that like we had, we've had like 10 showings so far. We had an open house, several people came and no one has put even one offer in. And so we were like, what is gonna happen? Are we gonna have to drop the price? And now like we just have this renewed hope today and it hasn't taken that long. Like the open house was just yesterday, today's Monday. So it's like we didn't even have to wait that. I mean, we've been waiting. The, like I said, our house has been on the market for like 12 days, but oh, I just really hope this works out for us. I feel bad. Anthony and I feel like we're burdening my parents because we're staying with them for so long. And, you know, we're making messes. The boys make messes everywhere they go. I know my parents, you know, would like to just have the house to themselves. And so I really hope this works out so that maybe we just stay with them through the inspection because that usually happens like within five or so days. And then once the inspection's done, then we just move back in um, and then finish packing. And that's kind of will be our main focus. So I will definitely let you guys know how today goes. I'm hoping to hear something um, tonight from our realtor and how it went and what the people are thinking. So oh, hope, hope. So please continue those good thoughts and hopefully we get this house sold.